In the time between the original 67 Spider-Man series, everyone knows that one from the imposter meme, and the 1980 Spider-Man and his amazing friends, there was the Spider-Woman series in 79. Not to get confused with Spider-Woman in Iron Man 94, that's Julia Carpenter's Spider-Woman 2, which I really hate. Comics, can you please stop reusing character titles for other characters? You're just doing it for a quick buck. It's lazy and annoying. This series is a continuation of the 60s universe. The Spider-Man from the original show guested in a few episodes with yellow eyes. I don't know what happened here. The series was done mainly to capitalize on the popularity of the Wonder Woman show. They even made Jessica transform the same way as Wonder Woman, which is not comic accurate. That's my first issue with the show. It wasn't comic proper in lots of areas. They would change things, but then not change things. I'll explain that. The first thing being her origin story. I prefer heroes who start off with crappy lives. I like stories when a hero deals with loss, hardship, unfortunate problems, then they're able to get past them. How about being poisoned by uranium as a kid, being frozen, forced to be experimented on by your father to save your life, roaming around the country for food after their parents' death? The writers wanted to make sure Jessica was her own character and not just a crummy copy of Spider-Man. I get it, the show didn't want to be grim dark, but they ended up ripping off Spider-Man's origin. If you just watched the animated show, you'd think Marvel was lazy. I mean, they're lazy now, but back then they actually tried to make their characters unique. So in the show, she's bitten by a spider where her father tried an experimental serum on her, which gave Drew her powers. The show takes 98% of the original story, but cuts the uranium out. Instead of working for S.H.I.E.L.D. or roaming around the world as a semi-bounty hunter, she works for a newspaper, just like Spider-Man. But Justice Magazine is not an ordinary publishing magazine. She has her own office, her desk has this super advanced TV where she can talk to the chief, they have their own personal chopper that can travel anywhere, no matter the cost. Like, how big is this magazine company? Why not just do the S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff at that point? They basically grafted Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, and Superman on top of her show. What else is different? Some of her powers are spot on to the comic, others not so much. Venom Blast, Flight, her webbing is created from her body. Those are done right, although she's missing her super strength. But they take liberties all over the place, so I'm not sure if they removed that power or they're just ignoring it. Her spider sense doesn't seem to have a range limit. It would find out something was stolen, a person's in danger, anything the plot needs it to do. The reporter change should work as a replacement for her detective element, but they never have her find clues that lead her to the next location. That would make sense. But they have her say things like, Quick, get us to London, fast. London? What's in London? A woman's intuition. Making her spider sense do everything is a big walking plot hole. Trust me, I know I'm complaining about the show a lot, but I still find it decent. It's just the characters and stories are all over the place rushing around. She's backed herself into a corner. <laughs> Speaking of which, since they gave her a new background, the show threw in some original characters, Jeff and Billy. Jeff, her partner and main photographer who looks very similar to Peter Parker, Billy being her nephew, he doesn't exist in the comics, very smart for a kid who hangs out with them for some reason while they go around the world finding stories. For the most part, I don't have a problem with Jeff and Billy. They help out in the episodes, they explain things to us, they're useful for the series, but their intelligence and personalities like the flip-flop depending on what the story needs. It's a secret entrance. Come on, Billy, let's take a look inside. Jeff is usually a decent guy. Most episodes he respects Jessica, they work together, but then other times he comes off as a complete jerk. One minute they both go into some danger, no problem. Other times he's like, I think this is too dangerous for a woman, while he'll happily bring Billy along? Like that makes sense. If you're trying to teach kids a lesson, go for it, but not at the detriment of the character's personality, or in this case, showing a negative while using a negative. This is why you shouldn't change characters in the first place. How well is Jessica portrayed in the series? Mostly fine. She has a little bit of Lois Lane and Clark Kent in her. If you're expecting the comic, half of that is here. Some episodes she does do detective work and as Spider-Woman changes her personality, making her as different as possible to Jessica. Another common issue Drew has is that everyone forgets she was born in England. 
In every show or video game, she has an American voice. You were expecting maybe the Hulk? Have you put on weight? No, I'm as fit as ever, Enchantress. I've sealed the base. The only way through that door is through us. Except in one case, her motion comic. I don't care who you are. Powers, no powers. I don't get why everyone forgets this. The show's pretty campy, just like the 67 Spider-Man, but it causes acting issues. Example. What's happening? Uh, I'm being sucked into a fog bank. Jessica has to play dumb in places so she can get away from the boys. Although this could be the reason why Jeff changes personality randomly. One minute Jessica is smart and guessing where they need to go. Another time. I've got to figure a way to change to Spider-Woman. That'd probably make me paranoid. She'd get killed going to the bathroom or something. The more disappointing part of the show is the lack of comic villains. Her comic uses some from Spider-Man, she has her own, but only two or three show up. Kingpin was the best one since he almost exposed Drew's secret identity. Majority of stories were original villains. I mean, they're not bad, it's just strange. Even when the show was in production, there was a year worth of comics out for them to use. They heavily relied on aliens invading Earth and giant monsters a few times. It's in line with her first comic run. Spider-Man guests in two episodes total, the second one being about them used in a fake movie with robotic spiders, uh, them being thrown over waterfalls, burned at stake to get them killed. Maybe the writer took inspiration from the Spider Slayer story? And this episode is really similar to that Power Rangers Time Force two-parter movie, Madness. I think what restricted Spider-Woman was the rush to production. And this came out in 79. There was very little work with her at that point. If they had waited a few more years where more volume one of the comic was done, they could have adapted more of it. But again, this was going after the Wonder Woman and Superman hype. Time wasn't on their side. I'm also pretty surprised they linked the series to the original Spider-Man cartoon. It was off the air for nine years at that point. Jeff and Billy did get better through the show and the situations where Jessica had to use an excuse to turn into Spider-Woman made more sense. They steered away from the total moronic decisions like falling out of a plane, but the pacing of the show was still too fast. So there was not much building when it comes to characters. Villains are just the bad guys with again, Kingpin being the more fleshed out of them. And some stories have plot holes due to her powers. If you're curious of the character when she used to be good or you wanna see more of older comic cartoons, check this one out. It's only 16 episodes, it won't take you long to watch. It was released on DVD in the UK. The only place you can watch it in the US is on Disney+. Plus. Thanks for checking out the review. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you remember a movie or show that's long been forgotten, good or bad, leave it as a suggestion below. I'm always on the lookout for obscured stuff.